at the University of Pennsylvania, on the top floor of the Van Pelt Dietrich Library Center, lies a special gallery. It hosts rotating exhibits of beautiful art and cultural works. One extraordinary exhibit was a collection of work by Ludwig Bemelmans, the famed author of Madeline, the popular children's book series. It also contains evidence of a hidden and darker side of the artist. The vast display of Bemelman's work draws largely from the collection of Jean Kislak and contains an immense array of his varied genres. It includes books, paintings, his work from The New Yorker, and most famously, Madeline. He was the kind of writer, the kind of artist, and the kind of cultural figure whom the people who established this department were, in effect, interested in documenting. Bemelmans arrived in America at the age of 16, the son of a Belgian father and a German mother. Bemelmans' father abandoned the family in Austria when the boy was eight years old. He grew up wild. At 14, he was sent to live with his uncle to learn the hotel trade. To his uncle's dismay, he was fired from every job he held. His uncle gave him an ultimatum, choose between reform school or move to America. Bummelmans chose America. He is somebody who comes to the United States as a 16-year-old, very young person. He lands in New York. He winds up doing hotel work. The Roaring Twenties was a perfect match for Bemelmans. He enjoyed drawing, and his satirical cartoons doodled on the backs of menus drew attention from his art-loving boss. Luckily, the boss accommodated Bemelmans' need for an artistic outlet. Before long, a chance meeting sent Bemelmans in a direction he had never considered. He begins as a writer when a children's book editor sees his murals in an apartment that he lives in. She looks at the murals and says, you know, you should be doing children's books. And he begins writing children's books in the early 1930s. Bellmamans dove headfirst into illustrating and writing his own children's books throughout the 1930s. On September 5, 1939, he published the book Madeline. This launched Bemelman's career as a popular author of children's books. The genesis of the series is as quirky as the rest of Bemelman's life. He got the title and setting partly from his wife, Madeline Freund. She had planned to be a nun, but left the convent instead to become a model. His mother was also an influence. She had told him stories of a convent in her childhood where the girls slept in rows of beds and went for walks in two straight lines. Madeline books were huge, huge bestsellers. Madeline is still one of the huge children's bestsellers of the 20th and now the 21st centuries. The monstrous success of the Madeline series allowed Bemelmans to experiment with other creative ventures. He began producing artwork and books for adults. But these darker creations soon proved problematic for the artist. When you look at his adult novels, when you read them, they're quite satirical, often quite nasty. His publishers felt that honestly to market these books would put off the parental buyers of Madeline. In a sense, Madeline, although the great provider for Bemelmans, also turned out to be the great blockade of his adult work. That kind of problem affects the reception of almost all of Bemelmans' adult writing. While the critics awkwardly shied away from the more explicit nature of his adult work, Bemelmans children's books continue to be as popular as ever. When we decided to entitle the exhibit Covered with Vines, we were taking a phrase from Madeline, but applying it to the corpus of all of Bemelman's work. Madeline, in effect, covered the rest of his work with vines. Nobody wanted to see past those vines. Doing this exhibit was of trying to remove those vines one by one by one.